hotel for expenses, which I was thrilled to do because I had no money when I went to Dallas. And they did and left us stranded. So that's the story of Light Magazine. I was not paid any money for Light Magazine's story. And then they also had me as a striptease dancer in Dallas, and I thought uh -huh. maybe you'd like to correct that. <laughs> And they also had me as uh, a manager of a pool hall, and I thought maybe you would like to correct that for me. Final. Now, all right, we shall go with important things. Thank you for that. Now, here's another very important thing that I've been getting calls all day on. Satan and Singh uh, about my boy's body. Uh, there's been no statement made by me about Lee's removal of his body, and there will not be any statement. Lee's body will remain exactly where it is. And that is final. I will answer no more questions to that. I, it's just too sad a thing that my phone has to ring and ask if I'm, I want my boy's body cremated, and that I want him moved to another place. I will emphatically say now, my boy's body is staying where it is if it takes every police officer in the state of Texas to protect it. Mrs. Oswald, then how do you account for the statement which you made the other night, quoted on television, that had your son been under surveillance, both he and the president would still be alive? That's right. That's a very simple statement. Uh, I had seen where the, uh, the Dallas was going to be screened and that they were going to pick up any known characters, any crazy people, in order to protect the president. So since my son was a known defector, he should have been under surveillance. And if my son had been under surveillance, then President Kennedy would be alive today because you are accusing my son. You are accusing my son. He is the accused assassin. I have to face that fact. That's what I mean. And so would my son be alive. Yes, sir. I still have my son. My son was arrested and accused of being the assassin, and that's why he was shot. 